Now to our next story. Adebayo Ojo was 18 years old when he was wrongly accused of armed robbery. He was subsequently found guilty and sentenced to death. He spent 17 years in prison awaiting his execution before a team of human rights lawyers got state authorities to grant him amnesty. Here's the story. Law enforcement agents in Nigeria are wicked. They punished me for a crime I did not commit. My name is Adebayo Ojo. I'm from Ogotun, Ekiti. I had hope of a great future, despite that my parents were poor. I did many jobs to support myself to Undo State Polytechnic, Owo. But one day, I was arrested for armed robbery. They said I conspired with others to rob one Yemi Omolade. I was taken to Ilawe, Ekiti. Despite testimonials by many that I was innocent, the police insisted that I committed the crime and took me to the Special Anti-Robbery Unit, A Division in Adwekiti in the year 2003. I was tortured like an animal as brutal force was used against me. Others arrested in connection to the case were released, but because my parents were really poor, they arraigned me in August 2003. That particular incident, Tony, is oh man, I can't me in first so. Ojo is a victim of circumstance. We had barely finished a meeting at Owo around seven o'clock, and the incident they claimed happened around Ogotun at past nine. Even if he had driven his car, which he didn't have, it would still have not been possible to be at the location at that time. In fact, with the state of the road, it was difficult to get a taxi to the route. I knew he was innocent. I was overwhelmed with sadness. I almost died. I was pained this happened to my son. He was very brilliant and never a thief. He was very obedient. They lied against him, and I am too poor to get him a lawyer. I was frustrated and felt as though I was dead because of the pain and suffering that I went through. Knowing that one is on death row can be devastating. I was helpless. In prison, criminals know one another. I heard rumors that others arrested along with me and later bailed were the real culprit and had committed another crime and had been bailed. Our governor then. Ojo would have been killed if not that former governor Ayodele Fayoshe insisted that he wouldn't sign a death warrant of any indigenous of Ikiti state as a sitting governor. I started schooling again at Cottage of Hope Institute within the prison, but from JSS3. I would be released from the dark hole where I was locked up to attend classes. After a day at school, the educators figured that I was smarter than the class I had started with, so they promoted me to GCE class. I wrote and passed my GCE in 2007. Still in prison, I applied to study criminology and security studies at the National Open University. I studied in great pain, locked in a dingy hole, barely enough to stretch my legs. But in spite of the harsh condition, I graduated in flying colors. There was a time my visit There was a time I visited Kirikiri Maximum Prison and wondered what could have taken such a young boy there. I was told he was a condemned criminal. So I sent lawyers from my office to Akure to investigate what really happened. They reported that he was innocent and that the robbers who committed the crime had been arrested. We applied before Governor Fayemi to grant him amnesty. The police didn't want his story to leak that they had goofed and wrongly facilitated the sentencing of an innocent person to death.
ki ni lowo to ni tun mo ti mo fe ki awon omo nigeria rere i need help help to get a job to start my life i need mi to ba wa pe kan na mi lowo ki ni ri ise lati ma fi certificate mi se talk about making the best of a sad situation 